Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the card review. So yes, there is another harpy lady. More herpes. Harpies, gentle to herpes. Herpes on your mouth. More herpes. You can never have enough herpes. Hello? <laughs> anyway, yes, there's a new harpy lady, which is great because definitely harpy ladies are a very fine deck. There is, there is no doubt that, you know, harpy ladies can actually do something, you know, with, uh, you know, their fill spell being able to pop back row, uh, with their ease to go into Lightning Chidori and, you know, the strength of, uh, Chandler to be able to go into, you know, some, uh, some big eyes and some Draco sacks. Uh, the deck has potential, but there is one, one major flaw with Harpy Ladies, and, you know, a ton of people argue with me about this, and they're just like, no, no, they don't, no, they don't. Harpy Ladies have consistency issues. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, Sina is a very powerful card, and yes, that does help with your consistency issues. The problem is, if you don't get Sina, your plays are very mediocre, you know? You know, you gotta even splash in some Summoner Monk just so you can summon the channeler, you know? And hopefully Summoner Monk is pitching that sign, but once again, sign is the thing that helps, you know? Seems like Wing Beast Base decks have consistency issues, you know? Harpy Ladies and both Black Wings have consistency issues, you know? And yes, they do have very powerful cards, you know? Harpies have sign and Black Wings have Black Rowan, but if you don't get them, your plays are just so mediocre at best, you know? So. It's good to go ahead and get another Harpy Lady. So now you can run, now, um, around 15 Harpy Lady monsters. Because, you know, of course you're going to be running Channeler. Then there's Dancer. Uh, Queen. And, um, you know, the regular Harpy Lady. Um, not the normal monster, but the one that increases your uh, wind monsters by 300 attack. That one, I think, is Harpy Lady 1, I think. But you can still summon her with Elegant Egotist. Some people play Cyber Harpy Lady instead. But, you know, it's those two. So you run 12 Harpy Ladies with the Summoner Monks, of course. Uh, you might throw in, like, a Harpy's Pet Dragon or two. But, uh, still, you know, it's still not enough. So, of course, Harpy's got this new Harpy right here. This is Harpy Harpist. I know, Harpy Harpist. I want to say Harpy's Harpist, but it's Harpy Harpist. Ugh. <laughs> and it's another Harpy Lady, so it's good. So now you can run up to 15 Harpy Ladies in your deck. And, you know, hopefully this lady it will be pretty good and worth running. Because there are some Harpy Ladies who are just, meh. Nah, you know, but, uh, you know. You can't, if you run Harpy Lady 3 and Harpy Lady 1, you can't run Harpy Lady 2 or Harpy Lady 3 because it's still technically the name Harpy Lady. So you can't, you know, do that. And then you can't run Cyber Harpy Lady because she's also, you know, Harpy Lady. It's kind of like, ah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a weird, weird word, wording, so, uh, ruling. So uh, now you got another Harpy Lady. So of course, her name is Traders Harpy Lady in Philip, but at least she's not Traders Harpy Lady in the deck. So you can still run three copies of, copies of her and three copies of Chandler and three copies of, uh, you know, all your great Harpy Ladies. You know, and if maybe if you can get the consistency of Hoppy Ladies, you know, uh, you know, this may not be the best of formats because the deck doesn't float. And if, you know, if your boat doesn't float or if you don't drink a root beer float, then, you know, you can't complete in this format. But, you know, I can definitely see if, you know, uh, you know, this deck uh, giving uh, Kleeput a hard time. And that might be interesting, you know, with your fail spell, going ahead and summoning your Harpies, popping their Pendulum Zone, uh, you know, popping their Vanities, popping their Skill Drains just through the strength of your fail spell alone. So, you know, that might be interesting to go ahead and see Harpies take out Kleeput, you know. Burning Abyss, on the other hand, you know, you know, most of their shit's chainable, so they'll probably get you anyway, so that might still suck. And, uh, you know, Shadals, depending on whether you see or not, you probably will, because your monsters aren't really that strong, so you'll probably get punched by Shadals, too, so that's not even really a good matchup, either. But, but your, I'd say your best matchup is against Kleeput, and, you know, being able to uh, give the one of the top decks of the format a hard time, I mean, that sounds funny. So, uh, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and look at this Harpy Lady, see whether she should be ran or not, and, uh, determine whether or not, uh, you know, Harpy Ladies will have a chance if they get this Harpy Lady. Alright, so, once again, this is Harpy Harpist. So, it is a Wing Wing Beast effect, a level 4, 1700 attacks, it's nice attack, 1700, you know. You know, uh, Channeler has 1400, Dancer has 1200, you know, uh, Queen has 19, but you generally don't summon Queen. And then I think the regular Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady 1, I think she has 13. So, you know, on the fill, with the Filth spell, I think it increases you by, what, 200? So you'll be at 19, and if you have, you know, uh, Harpy Lady 1 on the field, you'll go up to three. I mean, to 2,000. So, plus the Filth spell, 22. That's not bad. How bad's that? So let's go over to Fat. So, this card name becomes Harpy Lady while it's on the field or in the graveyard. Simple as that. So, you know, if your opponent plays Prohibition, and they call Harpy Lady... And you got no way to get rid of it. That's one of the flaws with Harpy Ladies because since all their names become Harpy Lady on the field through Prohibition and you call Harpy Lady, that hurts all of them because then they would all become Harpy Yes, you could still, you know, 
uh, summon, you know, still normal summon, whatever a harpy is not harpy. So let's say there's prohibition on the field. You know, I go, I activate prohibition, call harpy lady. You don't have anything to pop it. You go summon channeler. Channeler will then become harpy lady, and then she couldn't use her effect anymore, nor could she do pretty much anything. So, uh, you know, that's one of the flaws of harpy lady. Same thing with cyber dragon, because, you know, cyber dragons. Uh, but anyway, still same effect. You know, she becomes harpy lady while in the field in the graveyard. So that's fine. So you can bring her back with, uh, you know, um, you know, hysteric party so that might be fine um you can only use each of these effects of harpy harpist once per turn when this card is normal summoned you could target one other harpy beast uh i mean one other winged beast harpy beast winged beast type monster you control and one face of monster your opponent controls returning into the hand all right so you know that's not too terrible you know if you go um you know activate uh hysteric uh, uh hysteric party you no know, Summon, you know, pop back row, you know, pop, you know, summon this, pop another back row, you know, if you, ha if you summon channeler or, you know, if you, s you can go ahead and, uh, use this card, return, you know, a harpy to the hand and bounce your opponent's monster. And then you would have a harpy in your hand for channeler to use, you know, channeler's effect. So, you know, that play is not too terrible. Yeah. You, know, you know, you get to go ahead and return, uh, wing beast monster you control back to your hand to go ahead and, uh, bounce something back to your opponent's hand. So depending on what your opponent has, that's not a terrible effect. Alright, so, second effect. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add one level 4 winged beast type monster with 1500 attacker uh, less from your deck to your hand. So, that is actually a very good effect, and that might be a very effect that can definitely help Harpy Lady. Because, like I said, they have consistency issues, but now they've got their own little kind of, uh, you know, pseudo floater searcher. So, uh, just during that phase, this card is in your graveyard because it's sent there this turn. So whether it's sent there because you, um, uh, you know, um, Icarus attacked it, whether it was destroyed by battle, whether you exceed with it and it's attached as a scavenger, so you can literally go summon Chandler, pitch, summon this, XC, do, you know, Lightning Chidori, you know, bounce some uh, and spin something that was set back to the bottom of that detach this spin something face up to the top of the deck then during the end phase this would get to search you for another channeler so this is actually a pretty good combo this combo kind of reminds me of uh you know satella knights how they go you know you know Deneb, search altair altair Deneb, search altair xy you know search search summon search so this this card can pretty much allow the harpies to pretty much do the same thing except of course with you know the whole channel thing you would lose be losing resource because you still have to pitch for that harpy lady but uh you know that's a play that you could totally do if you have the harpy ladies in your hand you know uh you can go ahead and just go you know summon channeler pitch summon this xc detach this during the end phase go ahead and get your search because if it was sent to if it's in the graveyard because it's sent there this turn that includes her detaches as well so definitely that's a very powerful play you do uh search for a uh, wing beast type monster that's 1500 tackle last so you can search for dancer you can search not for this, because it's 1900. You can search for Harpy Lady 1, but I, I don't know why you should search for that. You can just summon it through Elegant Egotist. And uh, you can search for, of course, the best one, Channeler. So, there you go. So, uh, you can't search for Queen either. But um, there you go. There are some uh, interesting plays that you can go ahead and do there. So, um, you know, that increased your monster count of uh, Harpy Lady. So, maybe we can actually see some Harpy Lady. You know, Harpy Lady's been on Daily Duels for, you know. I think it, it was on, then it got taken off, then it came back, then it got taken off, but I, it's not going to come back if you're wondering just because I'm revealing this card. But, um, you know, it's just nice to see that Harpy Leaves are getting something to go ahead, another monster, and something to help with their consistency. I'm glad that Konami is recognizing that, yeah, Harpy Leaves have consistency issues, so that's nice that they're going to go ahead and do something for them. So, you know, and, uh, you know, just uh, kind of tweak Black Wings a little bit, give them a little bit more consistency, and, you know, we might actually have something with these two decks. They might actually be able to do something. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about Harpy Harpist in the comment section below. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys Thursday with another card to look at for the review. Alright, thanks for watching.